Tonight, the Supreme Court has cleared the way for an Alabama prisoner to become the first person ever to be executed by nitrogen gas. The high court issuing a ruling this afternoon. WDHN's Christian Jones has been following the latest developments all afternoon and joins us live in the newsroom with the latest Christian. Yes, Michael, unless there is some last minute court ruling or reprieve tomorrow, Alabama will become the first state in the country to execute a prisoner, a prisoner using nitrogen hypoxia. Kevin Eugene Smith will be fitted with a mask on his face, replacing breathable air with nitrogen, causing death from lack of oxygen. In 1988, Smith was one of two men that was convicted for a murder for hire plot, the stabbing of a preacher's wife in North Alabama. The other man was executed in 2010, and the state tried to execute Smith in November of 2022, but they had so much trouble getting the needle in his veins, the execution failed after he spent almost four hours on the table. Now, Smith faces the grim reality of being the first person ever executed by nitrogen hypoxia, a method that is drawing criticism around the world from the United Nations to groups to, like the World Coalition against, against the death penalty. See, Kenneth Smith's execution risks to be a milestone execution if it happens because it sets a new standard. It lowers humanity at the level of the of a state that has a frenzy and uh, a killing fury against one individual. At this time, Smith is scheduled to be executed tomorrow. There is still one route to stay away from execution, at least for now. His legal team has asked the 11th Circuit Court of the Appeals to block the execution from going forward, but the court has not ruled on that as of this evening. We're live in the newsroom. Christian Jones, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.